Hey, what's up everyone? It's Patrick and welcome back to another Necromancy quest guide. Today we're going to be doing that old black magic. On screen right now is everything you need to repair yourself as quest. The green text is what you really need and the white text explains where to get the items needed for Iron Man as well as lists recommended items and rewards. First thing I'm going to say to clear up any confusion, if you look up this quest in your in-game quest log, it shows that it only has a requirement of 32 Necromancy. That is a lie. That is just the requirement to start the quest. All the requirements I have written here are what you need to actually complete it. You need to have completed the quest of Spirit of War and the Blood Pact. You need levels 51 Archaeology and 65 Necromancy. For the items, you need an Everlight Trumpet. It's an Archaeology artifact. 360 Flesh Runes and 520 Bone Runes. You can buy these or if you're crafting them yourself, all the rune crafting altars are in that one place in the city of Um. They're just on different sides of it if you look around. The ghostly inks and candles and all that stuff. Listen, it's very confusing because there's a bunch of stuff we're doing with these. I'm not going to lie, my count on the ghostly inks may be off. I'm pretty sure I got it right, but it never hurts to have extras of these. Necromancy, armor and weapon, and anything else to help you in combat and food, but keep the food in the bank for now. Anyways, feel free to pause this if you need it as I'm going to continue the guide now. This video is brought to you by the awesome members of my Patreon. If you want access to some exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video, everyone. To start the quest, go to the middle of the city of Um. A few steps east of death, speak to Lady Grey by the stage looking area and accept the quest. Go to the Lumbridge Catacombs in the graveyard southeast of Lodestone. Enter the catacombs on the west wall, climb down the stairs, climb down the next set of stairs. Follow this path through all the rooms all the way to the end. Kill Dragonfern to receive Lady Grey's guitar. Be sure to pick that up. I got it in one try, but it may take more than one. For some reason, I saw some guy here killing more than one. I'm not sure why else he would do that. After picking up the guitar, go back to Lady Grey. Speak to Lady Grey and select option 1 twice. You need to speak to a skeleton named No Gums Murray who is an NPC standing here by Lady Grey, but there's a possibility you won't see him. There is actually a reason why you can't see him. If that's the case for you, you need to go to a ritual site. In order to get him to spawn, you need to perform any communion ritual, which is the one where you offer a bones, but on top of the glyphs that are already required for the ritual, you also need to draw an additional one called Speed 1. You might not even know about this, so when you go to draw your glyphs, and top left the window where it says Foundational Glyphs, if you click on that, it's actually a drop down menu. Select alteration glyphs and these are glyphs that provide you additional benefits to what you're already doing so you need to draw speed one and perform any communion ritual while having that on. Don't worry, I counted for this on the item list, so you should have enough stuff, but this is also why it was so confusing for me to add everything up. After you finish this, go southwest to the chest and claim your reward, then go back to Lady Grey. Now we should all be on the same page, you should see No Gums Murray. Speak to him once while having the repaired or restored Everlight Trumpet in your inventory. 
go to a ritual site, click on the pestle and select the one called in soul trumpet, then click select ritual. Two of your glyphs need to be elemental one, another glyph needs to be change one, and a fourth glyph needs to be commune one. If you already have any of these, then leave those alone. If you need to clear any, then do what you have to do. Place or repair any candles if necessary. When you're ready, start the ritual by clicking on the platform to the south. Once the ritual is done, go southwest and open the ritual chest, which should yield you an ensoul trumpet and ectoplasm. Take all of it. Head back to No Gums Murray. Speak to No Gums Murray and select option one. Yes. Speak to Zombie Brains Walker, who is also up here. Go a bit north to the area shown by a yellow marker on his map. Speak to the former Master Crafter and select option 1, yes, twice to exchange your runes for piano keys. Go back to Zombie Brains Walker. Speak to Zombie Brains Walker and select option 1, yes. You need to gear up for a fight using necromancy only. You don't need any other items besides whatever you're bringing for combat. So full necromancy armor and weapons, potion, food. The necromancy ruins in ectoplasm if you use those. When you're ready, go to this area to the northwest. Remember that Hermod, the Spirit of War guy that you fought in the Spirit of War quest? That's who you're going to be fighting. Multiple times actually on normal mode, not story mode. He's still surprisingly easy. I can do it with barely any food and I suck at PVM. Right click Karen and choose travel. When you're ready for the fight, enter the chamber doorway to north and start the instance. But you can also watch what I do first before you do it yourself. Although I'm telling you, this is not hard. If you didn't have much trouble in the previous quest, you should be fine here. And the mechanics are exactly the same. You can use protect or deflect melee prayer or soul split. He has two abilities you need to look out for. First one, he'll draw a sword back and smash it down in your current location, dealing a lot of damage and disabling any deflect prayers if you don't move out of the way. The location of this attack is indicated by a green area on the ground. It can be easily avoided by using surge, dive, or just run. You can also just tank the hits. His second ability, he'll summon two armored phantoms and her mod will be immune to damage until you kill them. So this part you have to do. You're looking to get an item from called animated drumsticks. Apparently it's a guarantee that you get this within a certain amount of kills. I'm not sure what that number is, but personally it only took me two kills, so it shouldn't take that long. I also want to note that you not receive any further harmonic plate drops until this quest is done. So at this point, it's definitely in your best interest to finish this. If you find yourself needing to resupply, you can set up a portal for this at War's Retreat after getting killed, and the place is called Razel's Citadel. That's an easy way to get back. Anyways, you can begin the fight if you haven't already. Remember, you need to keep killing him until you get animated drumsticks. Be sure to pick those up. Once you have the animated drumsticks, go back to Lady Grey.
speak to Lady Grey and select option one, drummer. Speak to the spirit or rhythm that's now here. Go north to this area shown by a yellow marker. Make sure both your hands are free, by the way, so take off any weapons you're wielding. Speak to Ed and select option one. Take a boat out onto the lake. You're going to row the boat a bit south around to the area shown by a yellow marker. By the way, shout out to this guy who commented on my Spirit of War video. I didn't know this at the time, but you are able to use Surge in the boat, so that's cool. Anyways, when you get roughly to this area, you're going to click on the enemy drumsticks in your inventory, and you should see a small splash in the water. If you missed it or couldn't see it or whatever, you can just do it again. You want to get as close to that splash as possible. You'll also get some dialogue telling you how far you are. So if it says you're two spaces away, then try to move two spaces closer to the splash. Once you're in the exact spot it'll say that you found one of four drums yes you have to do this three more times the second location is over here on the south side of the island just go there and repeat the same process until it says you found two out of four drums the third location is on the east side of the island go there and repeat the same process until it says you found three out of four drums The fourth location is around the northeast corner of the island. Go there and repeat the same process until it says you found all four drums. Go back to Lady Grey. Speak to the spirit of rhythm. Hope you found the video helpful. If you didn't remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. There are also links in the description below for my Patreon, donation link, Twitter, and Discord where you can interact with me. Donations can also be directly made through YouTube now. Thanks option near like button below the video. Catch you later. Peace.